50k, weglopen van de running. A little bit below. This is a 5 mark. 40 plus. So, how did we end up here? It all started when they closed the gyms. Vanaf morgen sluiten de sportscholen. Before that, I was working out. It went well, I was deadlifting, squatting. For not that many repetitions. When that no longer was an option, we had to come up with a new goal. New year, new me, we tried running. A little later, at the last day of February, I ran my first 10k. But without a goal you can score. So a few friends and I decided we needed to have a goal to work towards. We would train and run our first ultra marathon at the Vechtel. It was now the end of February. And on the 3rd of July this run was supposed to happen, so we only had 4 months. And with no prior longer distance experiences, we went in blank. So with the first 10k being out of the way, 5 days later I hit my first 12.5. And, and 5 days after the 12.5 I hit my first 15k. We were starting to like this new hobby and the legs felt great. But knowing we only had 4 months, we needed to gain kilometers fast. After my first 10k at the end of February, a month later, I hit my first half marathon. So after this first half marathon, I only had three months left to hit 50k. The first half marathon felt rough. But after a few short trainings, I ran it again and it felt way better. Fast forward to the 10th of April and I made it to the halfway point, 25k. But then I overshot it. I ran a 17k and then two 10ks in three days and I started to feel an injury. With only 10 weeks left, and being halfway in kilometers, I had to take a break. And only after two and a half weeks, I started to feel like running again. I ran a 10K, felt good, did some shorter trainings, felt good. And after 10 days of running again, I ran my first 30 kilometers. We still had six weeks to go before we had to run our first 50K. We thought it might be a good idea to plan a normal marathon before. So at the beginning of June, we would run our first 42K. But before that, I went to Spain, where I did some altitude gain. And then the moment came, and we tried our first marathon. Ready for the marathon. Marathon day. Yeah, yeah. No, but we're going now. Oké, okay, ik uh, zet hem nu aan. 3, 2, 1, go! Eerst een half kees, dan. 10 k 15 minuten. So one hour on the clock and we did 11.7 kilometers. 15 kilometers done. Almost 20k. Right now at the Halfway point, one hour, 52 minutes. 25.5k is done, legs are getting heavy. We're now at 20, 28 kilometers, which is two thirds of the way. Lekker jongens. We're now at 30k, so this is the furthest I've ever ran at once. We're running for three hours, 35k mark, but my pace dropped only seven more. Kilometers. Woo. 5k to go. Pace 6:45. I cannot go faster. Woo. But it's beautiful. 1.2k to go. Three, four hours just passed. 42 kilometers. Yeah. 
Yes. Woo! <laughs> Holy fuck. <sighs> We hebben wel moeder van. Goed gedaan. Het is eerste woorden. Zo. So, first marathon done. 4 hours, 4 minutes, all trail. It was amazing. I learned a lot. It was a nice experience, but it was tough. I started a little bit too fast. But it gave us the confidence we needed to run the full ultra marathon. After the first marathon, I went to Madeira. And on Madeira, I ran two beautiful trails. Ponte de Rosta and the Pico de Pico, which I even made a separate video about. After the vacation on the beautiful tropical island, we were ready. We had to do the full ultra on the 3rd of July at the festival. And let me show you how it went. Done. That's four percent of the run now. Doing the 50k Vechtel trail run. Let's go. We're now at 10 percent, 5k, 27 and a half minutes, and it's beautiful. Woohoo! 12.5 done. So I'm now at 25 percent. Fifteen k done. Right now it's sixteen point five k, so I'm running for one hour and thirty one minutes, and we have one third of the route. This is a very tough part. Just did a half marathon in one hour and fifty eight minutes. The legs are starting to get a real little bit heavy now, but what can you expect after? 24k. And now over halfway, 2 hours 23 minutes in. Whew. We're now at Sand Dunes. We can see some running there. This is tough. Twenty-eight kilometers in, two hours 37 minutes. We're now almost at 30k. Now we're running for 3 hours and we did 31.6k so I'm running a little bit below the sub 5 mark for the 50k So I hope we can keep this up work because my legs are getting very tired Very, very tired at 34 kilometers We're now in the third and I hope last set desert It's hilly again Fucking tough My legs are tired but only 15 and a half k to go, so that's doable. It's getting very hilly. It's a mountain bike path. So 40k done, 3.53. So I have one hour seven minutes to make the last 10k, which is doable, but it's gonna be tough. Legs are tired. Feet are tired. Thank you. Thank you. We've now been running for four hours. Four hours, five minutes. Marathon time. 45k done. I'm at four hours, 20 minutes. 5k to go. Okay, to go. I'll try to enjoy these last 12 minutes of running. So, three weeks ago, we did the first ultra marathon, and now, after COVID, we're hiking in the Swiss Alps. Today, I think we'll do 20 kilometers. Yesterday, 15, more than 2,000 meters of altitude gain. Just amazing. We're here for the weekend. 
kind of preparing for the Harder Grad hike in three weeks. But so far today, we will do the Pilates and we will show what our bodies are capable of. Woo! Amazing. <laughs> 